Okay, this how-to video is going to talk about um, return path fires and adding return path fires for a differential pair. Um, many users want to add kind of return path fires when they're adding a via pair on a differential pair to just improve the, the signal integrity and performance of the differential pair. Um, so I, I currently need an Allegro PCB designer with high speed license to be able to do this. Um, and I've got several methods to be able to do this. So if I just invoke the add connect command, I can start to route a differential pair. Um, when I want to add wires, I mean, there's, a, there's an option under the right click, there's a return path wires that allows me to pick some predetermined sh shapes and sizes. So if I wanted to maybe pick an offset one, that would be the default type. We can have a look at what an offset one looks like by looking at the settings. So if we look at the setup, obviously I can pick the, the return path net, the actual via pad set that I wish to use, and then these are the different kind of predetermined offsets. So I want to use the offset one, click OK. When I add the vias now, uh, let's just pick a via. You can see I get my two um, differential pair vias plus the two return path vias, so I can then carry on and route. Now, if you wanted to come up with your user-defined version of these, there's something called a via structure, which so you can obviously position some vias as you want them. You can include things like C lines, you can include keep out areas, um, and then under the root via structure create, I can create something called a high speed via structure that allows me to, to give it a name. So in this example, let's call it diff underscore high speed. I then window select the items that I want. I want the vias. I pick the origin point or the starting via, which is going to be that one. I'm then going to define the return path. So we'll say yes. And then I'll effectively pick the four vias that I want for my return path. I'll click complete the return path. It's going to start on the top and then it writes out an XML file. So we'll save that out. Once that's there, I've got a couple of methods. I can do root via structure add to physically just add them and you're adding it as a symbol and then you can then just connect to it as you're routing. Um, but a slightly better way that came out in QIR2 of 17.2, which was hotfix9, allows me to set something up in Constraint Manager. So if I launch Constraint Manager, go to the electrical routing and vias um, rule set, I can then effectively pick the via stru the structure that I want to use. So in this example, the diff HS. We'll click OK. If I look at my vias now for my differential pairs, you can see that that via structure is assigned to that differential pair. Then when I start to route now, when I double click and pick the layer that I want to go to, the via structure is available for me to select. I'll pick the return path and we'll then just rotate the via structure that allows me to effectively come down and place the via structure where I want to place and I can then continue on routing. 